Good morning. When we gather again today on this Tuesday to honor our Blessed Virgin Mary under the title of Perpetual Help with our weekly devotions. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Most Holy and Immaculate Virgin and our Mother Mary, you are our perpetual help, our refuge, and our hope. We come to you today. We, we thank, thank God, God for all the graces received through your intercession. Mother of perpetual help, we promise to love you always and to do all we can to lead others to you. Mother of perpetual help, confident in your powerful influence with God, obtain for us these graces. The strength to overcome temptation, a perfect love for Jesus Christ, and a holy death, so that we will live with you and your Son for all eternity. Let us pray to be open to God's word. Mother of perpetual help, do you continually soften the meaning of God's words and actions in your life? As we listen to God's word, may the Holy Spirit enlighten our understanding and give us the courage to put the word into practice in our daily lives. Let us pray as a community of faith. Mary, all generations have called you blessed, and the Almighty has done great things for you. Mother, Mother of perpetual help, we call upon your most powerful name. Your very name inspires confidence and hope. May it always be on our lips, especially in time of temptation and at the hour of our death. Blessed Lady, help us whenever we call upon you. Let us not be content with merely pronouncing your name. May our daily lives proclaim that you are our mother and our perpetual help. And we pray for our temporal wants. Mother of perpetual help, with the greatest confidence we kneel before you. We implore your help in the problems of our daily lives. Trials and sorrows often depress us. Misfortunes and privations bring misery into our lives. Everywhere we meet the cross, comforted and afflicted, beg your Son, on Jesus, to strengthen us as we bear our burdens and to free us from our sufferings. Or, if we be the will of God, that we should suffer still longer. Help us endure all with love and patience. May we follow the example of your Son, and through him, with him, and in him, Commend ourselves to the care of our Heavenly Father. Let us now present our prayers of petition and our prayers of thanksgiving. Lord Jesus Christ, at a word from Mary, your mother, you changed water into wine at Cana of Galilee. Listen now to the people of God gathered here to honor our mother of perpetual help. Grant our petitions and accept our sincere thanks. Grant wisdom and guidance to our Holy Father, Pope Francis, to our Bishop David, to our priests, and to all the leaders of our nation, state, and community. Hear us, Lord, from Mary, our Mother. Grant peace and unity throughout the world, especially in our homes and families. Hear us, Lord, from Mary, our Mother. Grant that young people respond generously to the call of the Holy Spirit in deepening their faith and choosing their vocation in life. Hear us, Lord, from Mary, our Mother. Grant us continued health of mind and body, and help the sick, especially members of our families or of our parish community, to regain their health according to your holy will. Hear us, Lord, for Mary our mother. And grant eternal rest to all of our deceased, especially those who have died due to the pandemic, and the souls of all the faithfully departed. Hear us, us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. We pause now to silently present our own personal petitions to our mother of perpetual help.
Lord, accept our prayers of thanks for the new life of grace you gave us. We thank you, Lord, for Mary, our mother. Accept our thanks for all the graces received from the sacramental life of the church. We thank you, Lord, for Mary, our mother. Accept our thanks for the spiritual and material blessings that we have received. We thank you, Lord, through Mary, our mother. And now we pause to silently thank our mother for perpetual health for all of our own favors received. Let us pray for the sick. Lord, look upon your servants, laboring under bodily weakness, cherish and revive the souls which you have created, so that, purified by their sufferings, we may soon find themselves healed by your mercy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord Jesus Christ be with you that he may defend you. <clears throat> within you that he may sustain you, before you that he may lead you, behind you that he may protect you, and above you that he may bless you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us now renew our confidence in Mary as a perpetual help. Mother of perpetual help, you have been blessed and favored by God. You became not only the mother of the Redeemer, but the mother of the redeemed as well. We come to you today as your loving children. Watch over us and take care of us. As you held the child Jesus in your loving arms, so take us in your arms. Be your mother ready at every moment to help us. For God, who is mighty, has done great things for you, and his mercy is from age to age on those who are our greatest fear is that at the time of temptation, we may fail to call out to you and become lost children. Intercede for us, dear Mother, in the name pardon for our sins, love for Jesus, final perseverance, and the grace always to call upon you, Mother of God. And since this is the first Tuesday of the month, we now renew our act of consecration. United with the members of your fraternity here and throughout the world, we consecrate ourselves to your service. We promise to renew this dedication once a month and frequently to receive the sacraments. We beg you to obtain for us the grace to imitate your great servant, St. Alphonsus, in his love for you and your son. Let us stand now and unite with the Christians of all ages in praising Mary and committing ourselves to her powerful protection. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God that we may become worthy of the promises of Christ. And let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, who gave us your mother Mary, whose image we venerate, as a mother ready every moment to help us, grant we beg you that we who call on her help may always enjoy the fruit of your redemption. And this we ask to you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you, everybody, and have a wonderful day. God bless.